Hello Cancer, Sun Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy for your reading for today. So we do have Express Your Love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Now we are going to clarify Express Your Love with some tarot. Just get a rough idea of why you're getting this card for your reading for today, Cancer. Then I'll start looking into your overall energy as well as your person's overall energy. But let's look at Express Your Love. Tell me more about Express Your Love for Cancer. <laughs> okay, let's do this. So we do have the Eight of Pentacles. We also have the Six of Swords. We also have the Strength card. And then we have the Judgment card. And then we have the Knight of Cups. This is very interesting because I feel like this is somebody who's trying to basically reel you back in all over again. Now this somebody could very well be possibly an ex of yours or somebody that you were just simply dating at some point. But I feel like this person has made an attempt to try to reel you back in all over again. And it kind of looks like with the Two of Swords to the Eight of Cups, you didn't necessarily allow this person to suck you back in all over again. I feel like you decided to stick to your guns here. So even though this person tried to reel you back in all over again, I don't feel like you allowed them to. I don't feel like you allowed them to. I don't. For some of you, you may have even went as far as to block this person because I'm also kind of getting that. You're very firm on what you want and in order to get what it is that you want you kind of need to stop entertaining the very person that's not providing you with what it is that you want so with that being said cancer you're sticking to your guns you're standing your ground you're very firm on what it is that you want but you're also kind of letting this person know that your mind's made up and that you don't have any sort of intentions of revisiting this connection here between you and this person you're taking back control of your life my friend you're definitely taking back control of your life and you're doing what you feel as though is best for you. And unfortunately for them, it just doesn't look like they're going to end up having their way with you. All right, so let's get into it, Cancer. We're going to focus on you first and we'll jump over to your person. Keep in mind the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid. So this could either currently be happening or may be happening at a later date. How does Cancer currently view this relationship? So we have the Ten of Swords, we got the Three of Pentacles, and then we also have the Eight of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Chariot, we also have the World, and then we also have the Nine of Pentacles, and then we also have the Hierophant. Now, when it comes down to how you're currently viewing this relationship, it's kind of reiterating what I already said. You know, this is you sticking to your guns. Like, I also kind of feel like for some of you, you, have, you may have recently made a promise to yourself to put yourself first. To put yourself first, right? Maybe, maybe, just maybe, Cancer, you were finding yourself constantly putting this person first um, and their happiness before your own. But I feel like for some of you, you probably made a promise to yourself to put yourself first, to only involve yourself with people who pour back into you. You know what I mean? Um, to only involve yourself with people who actually serve your highest good and to avoid those who basically don't pour back into you and don't serve your highest good, which is basically what we see you doing here. Somebody's trying to reel you back in. Okay, somebody's trying to reel you back in. Somebody's trying to fix things with you. Somebody's trying to work things out with you. And with the Ten of Swords being out here, this is you putting your foot down. Like, no, we're not doing that. No, right? And it is coming from a place of you basically realizing that no matter how much you may have wanted this relationship in the past to work out here between you and them, you're kind of realizing that this one just isn't the right one for you. And that's okay. And that's okay. All right, let's look at your human. How does this person currently view this relationship? You stay over there. We have the Page of Wands. We have the Ace of Swords. And then we also have the Ten of Swords. That's interesting. Hmm. I feel like they're taking you as a joke. I do. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. I feel like they're taking you as a joke right now. And this could have a lot to do with the fact that maybe in the past uh, you told this person, nope, that's it, I'm done. But then they'll come in and then they, they start whispering all these sweet nothings in your ear and then you would kind of fall for it all over again. Because I'm going to be honest, this one this one kind of comes off to me as somebody who's just kind of taking you as a as a joke, to be completely honest. 
Don't be shocked when this person starts to become very consistent and very persistent when it comes on to what it is that they want with you. Because I feel like you're making yourself very crystal clear to this person. Like, no, I'm done. I'm not doing this no more with you. Mm -mm, I'm not doing this, right? And they're just like, mm, okay. Like, it's literally going through one ear and out the other is the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here from this person. Anyways, let's keep going. How does this person currently feel? You have the, um, yeah, double confirmation that they're kind of just allowing what you're saying to go in, go in through one ear and out the other. With the Seven of Swords to the Six of Swords, it's just basically reiterating that. Like, the Six of Swords to the Seven of Swords, that creates an Ace of Swords at play, which we do have out here. They're not taking what you're telling them seriously. They're not. They're definitely not. It, they're kind of harnessing this overall energy of, like, it's over when I say it's over. Okay, I guess. Time more about the seven of wands. Yeah, I gotta be honest. Like, they're kind of harnessing this overall energy of, like, it's over when I say it's over. And because they're not done with you just yet, it ain't over just yet. I keep getting that from this person. Like, this person might start to become very very consistent and very persistent when it comes down to what it is that they want with you. And they're kind of carrying around this level of confidence on top of that. Uh, where they feel pretty confident within themselves that they can be able to get exactly what it is that they want um, from you. We'll see, though. We'll see. It all depends on the cards that come out here for you. We'll see. It's weird. They're in this old energy of, like, it's over when I say it's over. It's like, oh, okay. All right. Oh, okay. You say so. Okay, let's see. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if their magic works on you. How does cancer currently feel? Mm -hmm. we have the nine of swords we have the seven of swords and then we also have the tower Aww. so with the seven of swords so the nine of swords coming out here for you that represents the two of swords which we do have it right here if you can see it um you don't have any sort of intentions of revisiting this connection here between you and this person you don't like i feel like you thought about possibly going back to this person and possibly working things out with this person but I don't feel like you are I don't feel like you are and I feel like it's because you've had plenty of time to really reflect Queen of Cups is all about reflecting right regardless of your gender male or female doesn't matter we all have masculine and feminine energy within us right but you've spent a lot of time reflecting on your relationship with this person and how this person is as an individual to the point where going back is not even a damn option at this point. It's not even a damn option in your mind anymore. Like, I feel like once upon a time, was it? Yes, absolutely. But right now, going back is not even an option. It is not even an option. It's not even an option. I also feel like the way that this person's going about this entire situation is really stressing you the hell out. It's really stressing you the hell out. Because I feel like you just want this person to leave you alone. Honestly, like, I just feel like you want this person to leave you alone. I do. And the fact that they're not leaving you alone just goes to show that you're not really putting your foot down with this person the way that you should be putting your foot down with this person. Like, I need to see the seven of wands uh, come out on your end, Cancer, because if not, this entire situation that you're running into with this person is going to continue to drive you absolutely insane, okay? Because they're harnessing this overall energy of, it ain't over until I say it's over. So then there's that. We really do need to see the Seven of Wands come out here for you. And the Seven of Wands is all about putting your foot down. Because they refuse to accept the fact that you don't want anything to do with them, that is not your problem. But I feel like you're allowing this entire situation to stress you out. I do, because they refuse to leave you alone. Because they refuse to accept how you feel. But at the end of the day, that's not your problem. It's not your problem. You need to put your foot down with this person. I don't care if you have to change your number or block them. Like, you really need to put your foot down with this person. Because they're... <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be honest. It's like you're over here telling them, nope, I'm not doing this with you anymore. And they're just like, hmm, yeah, okay, sure. But it's going in through one ear and out the other. What actions? Okay. So we have the Eight of Cups. We have the Four of Wands. And then we also have... 
the star. All right, let's look at this human. I feel like with this Eight of Cups energy, again, it's like reiterating what I said. It's like, have you thought about giving this relationship between you and this person another go around? Absolutely. But I feel like because you've had time to really think and reflect on this person, the way that they are as an individual, you're kind of realizing, no, this is not for me. This is not for me. This is not for me. Um, I feel like you know exactly what it is that you want within a person slash relationship. And unfortunately, you don't necessarily feel like you can get that with this person. And you're accepting that. You're accepting that. You're accepting the fact that, you know what? I can't get what it is that I necessarily want out of a person slash relationship with this person over here, but that's okay. Eventually in time, you'll find it. So I do like the way that you're kind of handling this entire situation moving forward. I'm still not happy that I didn't get the seven of wands for you though. Um, I'm still not happy about that, Cancer. I'm not. Because I feel like this is a time where you really need to put your foot down with this person. You really do need to put your foot down with this person and lay the law down. And I don't... I don't see you doing that. What actions? Lord. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the King of Swords. And then we also have the Ace of Pentacles. Then we have the Two of Wands. Then we have the Justice card to the Three of Cups, to the Nine of Pentacles, to the Six of Cups, to the Tower. They'll be back. They'll be back. Like, for some of you, you could very well be telling this person straight up, like, yo, leave me alone. I told you I'm done with you. Stop calling me. Stop texting me. Stop showing up at my job. Stop showing up at my house. Like, I do see you probably trying to, like, establish boundaries here or just simply lay the law down. But I'm going to be honest, like, this person's kind of, like, fascinating to a degree, right? <laughs> because it's like they're in this overall energy of, like, okay. I'll leave you alone. I'll leave you alone. You don't want me to call you? I won't call you. I won't call you. I won't call you, Cancer. But they'll be back. They'll be back. It's like they're gone for like a few days and then boom, here they are. Back again, you know, at your front door. Calling you again. Texting you again. It's like a lot of you may think. A lot of you may think. Um... That that's it, you're never going to hear from this person. But oh boy, let me tell you, you have another thing coming for you. You have another thing coming for you. You definitely do. You definitely do. See, they don't want this relationship to come to an end. They don't want this relationship to come to an end. They don't. They really, really don't. I'm going to be honest too. I'm also kind of getting this overall energy coming from this person of somebody who does kind of view you as somebody who will basically take good care of them financially speaking. So I don't know if this one over here is just involved with you because you make good money or whatever the case may be, but they do view you as somebody who could basically take care of them. They do view you as somebody um, that's trustworthy on top of that. Again, that, that's, you know, it's not your problem. You know what I mean? It's not your problem. I don't know if this person, I gotta be honest, I don't know if they're just involved with you or trying to get with you because, you know, with you, they could possibly be living the good life. You know what I mean? It is, it's not your problem. It's, it's not your problem. It's definitely not your problem. Mm -mm. It's not your problem. Um, nor should you make it your problem. Yeah, see, that's my thing with this person, though. It's like, I feel like this person could possibly be struggling financially. I mean, with the Page of Pentacles to the Nine of Wands, like, this person could very well be struggling, financially speaking. Like, this might even be somebody who has a very difficult time, like, you know, like, paying their bills and, and things of that nature. And they might be looking at you like you're their saving grace. No, you're not. No, you're not. They are their own saving grace. Like... This rut that they find themselves in, if they are in like a financial rut, they can get themselves out of it. They can totally get themselves out of it. They can totally get themselves out of it. 
They just have to honestly apply themselves and dedicate themselves and they'll be fine. But I feel like they are slightly codependent. That's the thing. And I feel like they do look at you as like somebody who's stable, somebody who has their own place, somebody who can pay their own bills. Like you don't got to be a freaking millionaire. You really don't have to be a millionaire or anything like that. You could just have your own place in your little apartment or whatever the case may be. And you pay all of your bills on time and you got food in your refrigerator. Like it could be that simple. It could literally be that simple. You don't have to be a millionaire or anything like that or be making bank or anything like that. You come off to me as somebody who's far more established than they are. Yeah. You come off to me as somebody who's far more established than they are. Just saying. So either which way, Cancer, I just kind of feel like in order for you to get what it is that you want, it does kind of require you to let this go, which I do see you doing that, but they'll be back. They will be back. Trust me on that. They will be back. They will be back. They will be back. All right. Let's see what else you should be aware of moving forward. What else should Cancer be aware of moving forward in regards to this person to the right of me? We have the moon. We have the sun. We have the world. <laughs> we have the wheel of fortune, the way that I'm saying it. And then we also have the, um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. Look at this. What well, you should be aware of moving forward. They will be back. They're not done with you yet. They're definitely not done with you yet. But even though they're not done with you yet, that ain't your problem. You're not making it your problem either moving forward. Like, I feel like this person does kind of look at you as somebody who's not really done with them just yet. But you are. Like, four of pentacles to three of swords to a strength card. Granted, it may hurt you. It may suck to walk away from this person, this relationship, because I feel like once upon a time, you really did want this relationship. But unfortunately, you're kind of realizing that you can't continue to involve yourself with this person anymore. And I feel like you got a laundry list of reasons why you shouldn't, right? But with the sun, to the moon, to the world, to the wheel of fortune, to the two of wands, dude, you're a lot closer to what you want than you think the fact that you're at the two of wands just goes to show that you're a lot closer to what you want than you think now you might end up meeting this person uh, i don't want to really throw out a timeline out there but i was kind of getting three months but you might meet them a lot sooner than that point is is that by you closing the cycle out here between you and this person like Granted, you may not know what the future has in store here for you, but I feel like over time, you'll start to see that you made the right decision here by letting this person go. Because not only are you letting this person go because you want what you want, the fact that you're already at the two of wands just goes to show that you're a lot closer to what you've always wanted than you think. You may not have met this person just yet, and that's okay, but the point is, is that eventually you're gonna get exactly what it is that you want here, and you're a lot closer to your dream than you think. All right. Do, 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 do. So we have the, this person might be slightly, blah, 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 blah. This person might be slightly younger than you, um, or you might be slightly younger than them, but this is somebody that you can depend on. This is somebody that you can rely on. Knight of Pentacles is somebody who's trustworthy. This person might even be very attractive on top of that. Um, and with the Magician uh, to the Page of Cups, Page of Cups, I, I am getting an age gap. I'm not going to lie. I am kind of getting an age gap. So you might be younger than them or they might be younger than you. I am kind of getting that. But with the Magician being out here to the Page of Cups, that just goes to show that this person is going to be on the same page as you as far as like what it is that the both of you actually want, okay? Like, see, you're somebody who wants somebody stable in your life. You want somebody that you can build with. And with this person, you can build with them. That's kind of besides the point here. You can totally build with them. However, one thing that I will say, because, you know, there, there's always a but to everything, right? There's always a but to everything, okay? I kind of feel like when the two of you do cross paths uh, with one another, um, I do kind of see you struggling just a little bit. I do see you struggling just a little bit as far as like you going after what it is that you want with this person is concerned. Um, I see this person being more open and receptive than 
you are. And I feel like it could have a lot to do with possibly this whole situation that you had to go through with this person. And it could very well be weighing heavily in the back of your mind. And it could very well be concerning you just a little bit. But I'm not too concerned, though, about this overall energy as far as like you like being on the fence about going after what it is that you actually want with this person. Trust me, when you meet them, you'll know that they're the one. Okay, you'll just no, but I do kind of see you kind of struggling just, you know, with simply going after what it is that you want. And it could have a lot to do with this experience that you just went through with this person in particular. Um, but I am not worried about it. I gotta be honest. I'm not really worried about it because I feel like reality is going to eventually sink in and you're going to basically realize that no two people are alike. Just because this person gave you hell on earth doesn't necessarily mean that the next one will. You know what I mean? And I feel like you're going to eventually realize that. And once you do realize that, it's full speed ahead from that point on. Um, and you'll go off and manifest exactly what it is that you want with this person. Like I said, I see this person being more open and receptive than you. But I feel like that has a lot to do with, you know, what you just recently went through with this person in particular. So more than likely, you're going to end up being this person shortly after all of this happens between you and this person. If it hasn't happened already or you're still kind of like going through it with this one over here. Um, point is, is that you have to make room for the things that you want in your life. And I do see you doing that. Keep in mind, this person will come back around your way. And it's all about establishing boundaries here. No is no. No is no. And that's it, whether they like it or not. Um, I also kind of feel like this person, they could very well just be trying to get back into your good graces because you know they know with you they can live the good life here and they don't really have to worry about anything. Because I feel like whoever this person is, like, they're clearly not doing very well for themselves financially speaking. Like, I feel like this person really does struggle with paying their bills, um, you know, things of that nature. And I feel like they look at you as somebody that they can be with. Um, you know, they also look at you as somebody who can, you know, take care of them financially speaking. You know what I mean? And you don't need a leech. You don't need a leech, okay? Like, I'm sorry, but with inflation, you don't need a leash right now. You do not need a leash right now. Like, inflation is freaking ridiculous, okay? I don't even want to go on a rant about how much milk is right now. Like, inflation is ridiculous, so the last thing you need is a leech, okay? That's the last thing that you need right now, all right? So, that being said, Cancer, um, just know that eventually you're going to get what it is that you want. And when the opportunity does present itself to you, you're going to find yourself hesitating just a little bit. That's fine, but I'm not really worried and concerned about it because I feel like that's something that you're going to overcome as far as like this hesitation is concerned. So with that being said, you will be happy again. You will get what you want. It just ain't going to be with this one, okay? So that's what I have for you, Cancer. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. Also, too, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, the link is in the description box down below. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.